We've all watched science fiction movies. Movies where humans have artificial bioengineered body parts, kind of like Robocop. What if I tell you that this is no longer fiction? In fact, some UV researchers program patient derived cells into each other's cell type they desire. Note that cells make up our organs. So the generated cells may be heart cells, kidney cells, or even eye cells. All that's required is a patient blood sample or a skin biopsy. But don't worry, it's not that easy. Regardless, here's how my lab group is making science fiction a reality. A few years ago, a patient with a genetic form of blindness presented to my supervisor. From that patient, and with their consent, a skin biopsy was used to generate a cell line. The cells were later instructed to forget that they are skin cells. The process takes several months. The skin cells were reverted back into stem cells. A stem cell has the capacity to become any cell type. During development, stem cells respond to environmental cues that strongly influence their fate. Now, I'm reprogramming the patient-derived stem cells all the way to becoming eye cells. Currently, I'm at the early stages of the process during which I apply different molecules at different times to guide or trick the cells into following a particular development path. In my case, I use a particular reagent to tell the cells to become neural cells that have the potential to form a brain or a set of eyes. I then instruct the cells to commit to becoming eye cells with the help of another key reagent. This way, I can investigate the particular genetic disease mechanism using patient eye cells in a dish. This is, in some ways, superior to modeling the disease in animals. My research aim is to study how the patient cells, how the patient eye cells, may be less functional. By better understanding the disease, I, my project sets the framework for testing the ability of genetic and small molecule therapies to restore the health of the eye cells. In other instances, the patient-derived eye cells may be corrected and transplanted back to the patient to restore vision. That's how we may achieve a full circle, starting from a patient sample and ending with a patient-specific treatment. Science fiction isn't that far after all. Thank you.